Because of all the losses and everything else, we come up with the conclusion it's about 130 watts, roughly, that you get out of two 100 watt panels that you can use. Uh, I got two, let's see, you can see in there, two one gallon wa uh, water jugs representing two 12 volt batteries or two six volt batteries, doesn't make any difference. Uh, they all work the same. And you got two 100 watt panels putting in about 130 watts into them at any one time. And that's how they work for draining them. You put a little hole in it, you get about 25 watts out of it. Depending on how big your battery bank is will be how long it'll last. And the same thing if you put a size for a 60 watt hole in it. It'll last as long as it takes to drain how many batteries you got. And then you got the 200 watt and then of course the 1500 watt which would be like a microwave and stuff. You can see it wouldn't take long to, to drain doesn't make any difference how many batteries you got. It wouldn't take too long to, to drain them at all. Now, the one thing that's missing here is that you really only want to use, at the most, half of your battery bank. You try and keep it so that you're only using 25% of your battery bank if you really want to get them to last a long time. And this is if you're a, a weekender and, you know, it doesn't, make that much difference because you're not way out in the sticks when your batteries may go dead. It's not that big of a deal. But if you're living with your electrical grid off of your batteries, then it makes a difference. You only want to really drain them down about 25% and then recharge them back up. So you can see that the, those 200 watts of panels I got wouldn't even be enough to replenish that hole. So. Yeah, I mean, I hope this helps visualize in your head how batteries work and the drainage and, you know, what you got going into the top is just as important as how much you're sucking out of the bottom.